For this screencast, we're going to take a look at two theorems related to proving triangles similar. So far, we've already learned about angle-angle similarity as a way to prove triangles similar. And now we're going to talk about side-angle-side similarity and side-side-side similarity. Uh, side-angle-side similarity states if an angle of one triangle is congruent to an angle of another triangle and the sides forming the angles are proportional, then the triangles are similar. So let's take a look at an example of this. So here I'm going to create two similar triangles. Right now they're congruent, but I'm going to shrink this one down so now they're similar. So let's say that these two triangles were marked so that these angles here were congruent and let's say that this side was 5 and this side was 4 and this side here was 10 and this side is 8. We can clearly see that the angles are congruent and that the sides forming the angles are proportional and by that I mean the corresponding sides are in the same ratio. 10 over 5 those are corresponding sides is the same as 8 over 4, the other pair of corresponding sides. It's a, a 2 to 1 ratio. So these triangles here would be similar by side angle side similarity. Now for side 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 similarity it's kind of the same um, idea except instead of having an angle we have to have all uh, four pair, all three pairs of corresponding sides proportional. So uh, we might have a six here and a three here and we can see that uh, each of the three pairs of corresponding sides is in the same ratio, 10 to 5, 8 to 4, and 6 to 3. They're all in a ratio of 2 to 1. So at this point, these triangles here that I am now referring to would be similar by side, side, side similarity. So let's take a look at some examples. Um, here, uh, we have two triangles and we need to see if the triangles are similar. We're given the lengths 4, 5, and 7 and 16, 20, and 28. And the way we're going to figure this out is we're going to first of all list the sides in order from smallest to largest for the one triangle and the corresponding sides from smallest to largest for the second triangle underneath. And the question is are these ratios equal? Do these all reduce to the same amount. Um, 4 over 16, we know that reduces to 1 fourth, and 5 over 20, that reduces to 1 fourth, and 7 to 28 also reduces to 1 fourth. So yes, these are similar by side, side, side similarity, and the scale factor would be 1 to 4. All right, let's take a look at this second example. Um, once again, I'm going to list the sides from smallest to largest. Here we have 2, 5, and 6. And then we have triangle XYZ. And we need to be careful here. The shortest side is 2. So I'm going to list that here. And then the next shorter side is 2.5. And then we have 3. So are these two triangles similar? And I think here it's very easy to see that they're not. This first pair of corresponding sides is in a ratio of 2 to 2 or, or 1 to 1, meaning the values are the same. And that's clearly not true for the other ratio. So are these triangles similar? Definitely not. All right, let's take a look at a few other examples here. Um, we need to state uh, how the triangles are similar, whether it's angle, angle, side, angle, side, or side, side, side similarity. Um, here the only information we're given is that these two angles are congruent. However, the triangles have this angle in common, triangle A, D, E, and A, B, C have angle A in common, so it's congruent to itself. So these two triangles would be similar by angle-angle similarity. And I'm going to name the triangles for this one just so I make sure I know uh, what corresponds to what. Uh, triangle ADE would be similar to triangle, if I do ADE, I'd say ABC. Since angle A is congruent to angle A and angle D is congruent to angle B, I need to make sure that those go in the same spot. So first example here, those are similar by angle, angle similarity. Um, if we take a look at this next one, um, we have two triangles in this picture. The smaller one, CDE, is over top of the larger one, C, 
a b so they have this angle in common so right now it looks like it might be side side or excuse me side angle side similarity but we need to check to make sure the ratios um, of the corresponding sides are equal so six would correspond to this entire length of nine and 10 would, in correspond, would correspond to the entire length of 15. So the question is, are these equal? And another way you can see if two ratios are equal is to multiply. 6 times 15 here is 90. And 9 times 10 is 90. Since those two values are equal, the fractions actually do reduce to the same amount. Those two fractions are equal. So yes, these triangles are similar to each other by side angle side similarity and once again I could name the triangles C D E would be similar to triangle C A B alright let's take a look at this last example here um, I don't know anything about the angles I just have information about the side so let's see if the three pairs of sides are in the same ratio so in the smaller triangle the sides are three five and 6. And in the larger triangle, listing the sides from smallest to largest, we'd have 6, 10, and then 12. We have to add those two lengths, KM and MN, to get the total length there, 12. So we'd have uh, 6 as the shortest, 10, and then 12. And here it's very easy to see that each of these fractions reduces to 1 to 2. So our scale factor is 1 to 2. And yes, these triangles are similar by side, side, side similarity. So triangle L, M, K is similar to, I went down the medium side and then down the long side, I'd have O, N, K, down the medium side and then down the longest side. So there's three ways now we have to prove that triangles are similar. Those ways are angle, angle, side, angle, side, and side, side, side. Uh, don't forget to do the assignment that is listed on your assignment sheet, uh, and that assignment is from your textbook.